Hi, I'm Rebecca Newenham, founder of outsourcing agency Get Ahead, and I wanted to share my startup secret with you today, which is all around the power of consistency. So I would imagine by now you've probably got a clear idea of what you want to do for your business. Um, and I guess one piece of advice on that would be it may well change and evolve. But congratulations on being here and starting out. And my secret really is around the power of consistency. It's quite a hard word to say. But being consistent is super important to enable you to engage with your audience and for them to really believe in you. So I would say that starts with how you present yourself online. So getting a professional photograph done right from the beginning might seem a little bit unnecessary, but I would really encourage you to think about your branding from the very beginning. It was something that I did with Get Ahead and the logo I'm still really proud of 11 years later. And that was because I spent some time and energy making sure it was right from the very beginning. And interestingly, I didn't want to build my business around my own name. My surname New and is a bit of a mouthful as it is, but I also had a vision very early on that I wanted to be bigger than just me. So that's something that's definitely worth bearing in mind. But spending out on your branding from the very beginning, not in a hugely expensive way, but cherry picking the pieces of, um, guidelines around branding that are important to you right from the beginning I would really recommend so professional photograph and then that photograph can be used in everything that you do to promote your business so people start to recognize you in different places that you're consistent wherever you show up you look the same but also your voice and use of language is the same so it's worth investing some time and energy in mapping out actually how you want to promote what you're doing how you want to market it and again, you don't have to spend a fortune on that, but it's probably worth speaking to people in that industry that can help you get your messaging right. Because we only really have, you know, a limited amount of time to make a first impression of people. They need to know, like, and trust you. So they need to feel comfortable that wherever you're showing up, you're the same. So therefore you build that authentic feeling with people. So by being very clear on your marketing, how you want to promote your business, the clearer you can be, the more confidence you'll get with people and the quicker they will start interacting with you and wanting to buy from you. So I know that might sound a little bit over the top from the very beginning, but certainly some good branded pictures, good use of, of language and imagery will pay dividends in the future for you. And you can therefore use this imagery in your photos and things in your social media as well. So you'll have your website, so you'll look the same on there. People will then look you up. The people are stalkers, aren't they? We're all really nosy and interested in people. So we'll do our due diligence. Again, one of the words I couldn't get my mouth around. They'll do that by looking at you in different places. So you want to appear the same in your LinkedIn profile as you do on your website, on your web pages, as you do in other social media. And if you're doing any advertising, any marketing, any articles, again, you want people to start recognizing you. So they'll see the brand colors, they'll see your face, and don't be frightened to, to not hide behind too many um, stock images either. People again like to see you as the real person. And if it is just you, don't do the awful, you know, the royal we, weeing around in all your um, material. Be authentic, talk about you as your personality. And people love stories as well. They love to know why you have set up, what's brought you here. We all have an amazing backstory and people like to know that. They like to really feel that they're getting to know the real person behind the business. So I guess consistency can span a huge amount of your marketing touch points as well as how you are when people meet you at live events. So you want someone to have perhaps researched you beforehand and then if they meet you at a networking event, they'll already feel comfortable. And if you are as you are face to face as you are online, then they'll immediately feel an even larger connection to you. And with consistency, that would come in your follow-ups as well. So from the very beginning, when I set my business up, I was always very careful to engage with people on and offline. So if I met them for the first time face-to-face, -face, I would go home, I would make sure that I followed up with them in an email, and I would also connect with them on LinkedIn. So I'd start having that regular behavior in terms of making sure I was capturing people into my CRM. But LinkedIn was a big thing for me, and it still is. It's a big, easy way of keeping all your um, connections together and start posting consistently as well so if you're 
got a clear plan of actually how you want to promote your business, start factoring that in. Have daily, weekly, routine activities that you do that are consistent so people will start seeing you consistently as well. So they don't suddenly think, oh, where's that person gone? You're showing up in their news feed, you're drip feeding your information about yourself and your business. But the final thing I wanted to say, it's all about with being consistent and authentic, it's about being real. So be interested in other people. The last thing you want to do is just be broadcasting about you. It's boring. People want to know that you're interested in them, that you remember things. I'll often reflect back and ask someone how a member of their family is. If they last time I saw them, they told me something was going on with them. It's not fake. I'm naturally interested, quite a nosy person. Um, but I, I want people to feel that they've got a connection with me. So by remembering little pieces of information like that's really, really vital in building up really strong, valuable connections. So I hope that's been helpful, a bit of a whirlwind, but really my theme for you is around consistency. Be consistent and authentic and you can't go wrong. So I know I've now got to say, if you've found this secret, um, the startup secret useful, please have a look at the links and listen to other um, business owners and the secrets they've got to share for you. Good luck.